Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very, very exciting new Sweet You video. Today I'm gonna give you 10 more tips and tricks on top of the last video that I made. It was very well received, so I figured let's do another one because I do have some more tips and tricks to share with you today. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So starting off with tip number one is getting more diamonds. I, few, I shared a few tips and tricks about getting more diamonds in the last video on how to spend them. So again, if you haven't seen that one, I re really recommend you checking that one out first before you watch this one. But one thing that I didn't show you yet is that you can get 10 extra diamonds every day. So the way to do this is going into your wardrobe and then here on the side above the search button, you have the share option and it will say sharing it to any platform the first time daily grants diamonds. So if you just press any of these, these, it will open like the menu. You can just press back. You don't even actually have to share it and you will still get the rewards because the app can check if you actually posted it. Oh, don't forget to do this every day. And like, it's only 10 diamonds, but they add up quickly, you know? Then the second way I found that is a good way to get more diamonds that I didn't share before involves outside of the platform. So I highly recommend you join the Discord server. This is the official one. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I do feel like this is a really helpful tool if you want to get more diamonds. So the link will be in the description for this as well. So diamonds down here, my head is covering a little bit. You have Discord events, so they often host events where you have to do a certain task here and you can submit it here and win a certain amount of gems, which can add up pretty quickly. Also, it's just really fun. So here you can see a bunch of people won already things. Another event that they just added again is the see your creator. So if you do like to make videos or edits or Instagram posts or even just designing outfits, because a lot of people like to do that, you can submit to be a fan creator as well, but you also get rewarded in diamonds to just make stuff, which is a lot of fun to do. So I highly recommend entering here as well if you want to. And then going on to our tip number three, I also really recommend joining the server because they do occasionally share codes where you can get free stuff. So currently this code is available for a certain time. I will have it on the screen for you to copy. They will often share these either on the Reddit, I think the Instagram or the Discord. So either one of them, they're all, I highly recommend just keeping an eye out. The way you redeem the codes is by clicking on your profile picture then going on the little icon here on the top and then doing gift code here at the bottom and you are just able to type code out in here. They've had like five or six in the, in the past so I highly recommend just keeping an eye out because that's just free stuff, right? Already claimed it but that's how you do it. Then number four is a photo hack. As you can see someone here already used this. They're doing the pose but they don't have the jacket on that is correlated with this and i'm just going to show you how to exactly do this all right so step one to this it's not that difficult but you have to just do it exactly so you want to make a default makeup so make sure you have a slot available and you just want to use something cheap you can't just use only default so i recommend just doing something like the 300 eyebrows like it's not that much you just press next and i'm just gonna name this one delete because we will have to in the future once you have purchased it you back out you go to the feed and you start making a photo. Then it's up to you to decide which pose you want to use. You have a few items. You have kind of have to look for it, but the one you want to use. So we're just going to go with the, the pose from the picture as well. You can use items, I think, that you don't own as well, but you just have to select it. Just don't press buy, but we are going to do this. And then we're also going to equip our new makeup, which will be right here on the top. And now what you want to do is back out. It will like kind of save in the background. So we're going to the home. We're going to go back to the makeup DOI, press on the little box on top and then we're going to delete delete so we press arrange click this one sell all don't save the makeup part then we back out then we close the app just close it and then reopen it then once you're back in you go back to feed you go back to publish and go back to photo once again and we will have like a glitch like it will not be here on the side of our icon so you will press the switch gender <laughs> button so you go to male go back to girl and there we go we have our pose and now you can basically dress up any way you like keep in mind that the outfits the long sleeve stuff they won't it won't move with that because it is glitched but you can just dress up any dress that you like and that's how it works if you end up accidentally clicking something else and then you want to go back and it's gone you can just press the undo button 
and it will go right back. So don't worry about that. The way to do this, I found originally from Natalie. I will have her channel linked down below because she did a great guide on this, but I've seen a bunch of people do it in different ways, but I feel like this is the best way to do it. Also disclaimer, this is a bug. This is not supposed to be happening. So it could be that they patch this in the future. I don't know what's going to happen to it. Who knows? So just enjoy it while it's here. Then tip number five is for photo aligning. So imagine you want to take a selfie. You have two characters. You kind of move them around, but then you realize, shit, I want them to be the same height. So the first step that you could try is using the, the items that are in the game. So for example, you can take the microphone and then you can rotate it 90 degrees. And then you can exactly align either with like the chin length. So for example, like this and then perfectly aligned like this but there's even an easier way which i recommend either getting one of the grid backgrounds really great for positioning these you can all buy with coins i think i don't think they come for free by default but you can just get them with coins and then you can like put them on eye level of this and you can exactly place them how far you want apart so i also recommend this for making your pictures number six is what to do when you always lose some competition and you literally cannot figure out what is wrong i have a full competitions guide also up on my channel which will be linked in the corner as well but even after that video and you're still like i keep ranking in the 50s to 60s and i don't know what i'm doing wrong and i don't know how to fix this i really recommend checking out once again the discord server there are a few channels in here where people post screenshots so you can do this and trying to ask which one you should do and then people often give advice like oh you should do left or right like which option which pants you should choose i highly recommend checking it out here though that does get really cluttered sometimes and i did notice that on the subreddit people like take a lot more time to respond because less people post frequently here i don't recommend doing this all the time only when you're like really stuck because you don't want to clutter up the whole reddit feed obviously but be warned people on reddit are ruthless they will tell you if your outfit is ugly but if you want to know then you should ask like honestly like i really thought i was going to win this competition what happened sometimes it's just luck but if it happens frequently you can ask other people for feedback and they can maybe improve your future competitions as well number seven will be about the exchange store i didn't really go into this last time i think or it wasn't really there i don't remember but i felt like i had to mention this you have three kinds of shells depending on when you recycle items or on what rarity they are for the golden shell i always always recommend buying it's today's monday so i haven't bought it yet to buy all of these because you will need these for recolors you can only buy five a week and most items that need this certain recolor card need at least like 10 or 15 even and if you want to recolor something in the moment you you probably won't so make it a habit that you get these they will only be 100 shells i highly recommend getting these these are a little bit more easy to obtain in my opinion so i wouldn't really buy these in advance but this will go straight into our next tip is how to get more silver shells if you need them uh, but you don't have anything to recycle or anything going on you can basically just like kind of like make new items that you can recycle there are a few that do really well so one of them is re i recommend crafting is the dot dress with stars you don't need anything special for that. It's only 12 of each so i already crafted one of these another one that i think earns a lot is the lotus leaf bag but this one does use the feathers the same is with the abundant greenery dress this one also does pretty well in recycling but again you will need the feathers for this so after you've craft all of your items you go to clothing recycling because these are four star items you will get a little bit more as reward so let's select all three of these and look how many look how many we're gonna get almost 400 shells just in one go from crafting then my next tip is about the daily task is to buy three items so sometimes you're gonna get to a point which i am at that i've already bought every golden item in the store or sometimes you're just broke you you just don't want to spend any money but you still want to do your dailies because you get a lot you get 15 xp for this and you kind of want to fill out the meter without doing anything there is a cheap way to do this so going once again into the makeup doi i recommend you making makeup we just did one so that's why it said one out of three but one makeup piece counts as buying one thing so you don't even have to craft makeup you can just press buy and press buy again the noses and the eyebrows are mostly the cheapest you can just use it up and then buy it again later it's pretty cheap to do and that's how you get your dailies done and look we got 15 right up the front then my next tip is the daily deals i always always recommend watching the ads because free stuff is free stuff but i also really recommend checking out the daily deals items sometimes they are background pieces i don't really know if i recommend buying the clothing pieces because it's not always the best deal like the discount is not that big but the background pieces are not often on discount and i think i got my fireworks background on sale in here and that was definitely worth it so if you see a background piece i do recommend buying that one and my 
last tip to get a little bit more diamonds and money is doing a vote after you're done for the day. So as you can see, it's early for me. So I still have a bunch of competitions to do. But after you're done doing all your dailies or getting all of the tickets that you need, you can still press vote. It will say you already have the maximum. Are you sure you want to do this? And you say yes and you keep voting. You can randomly just get like extra money, extra gems. Like it's free gems basically. So only do this after you're really done for the day because you will not get any more tickets and else you can get a little tight with the tickets you might need for other competitions if you do that every day you can probably get a bunch of more diamonds that you haven't seen already these were all my tips and tricks on top of the one that i already gave let me know down below if they were helpful i really hope it was also i'm live here on youtube every saturday and we play a bunch of fashion games but lately we've been doing suyu dailies on stream as well so if you want to see more suyu content and just like casual chatting with others about suyu make sure to pop in stream and check in if we're going to do any dailies that day because that'll be a lot of fun if you haven't already please consider subscribing or becoming a member and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye